Today I will be opening this power supply that came from an old printer. It outputs 32 volts at 0.75 amps, and it also outputs 24 volts at 0.5 amps, and it has a standard universal input voltage and uses 0.82 amps. This is the output connector, and this is the input connector. So now let's take a look inside this thing. It uses a security screw, so I have to use one of these pliers to take it out. <laughs> that took a lot of effort to remove this silly little security screw, but finally we can take a look inside of the power supply. It's held together with a few clips. Okay, the board in the power supply just flew out of it while I was opening it, which was a little unexpected, but okay. So this is what's inside of it, of the power supply. This is the power input connector, there's a coil, a capacitor here, a fuse here, the main capacitor, the main transistor I think, some additional capacitors. Another small capacitor, a four pin chip, a small resistor in here, a small chip here, a big diode on the output, a smaller diode here, and another smaller diode, and these are the two output capacitors. From this angle, there is another blue disc capacitor, two fuses that appear to be on the output. And this is the main transformer. On the bottom of the circuit board, we can see the distance between both sides, the high voltage and low voltage sides. This is the main bridge rectifier, some diode chip, some small chips here, some resistors and capacitor here. The bridge rectifier looks like this. The main control chip looks like this with one pin missing. Now let's take a look at the fuses. The input fuse is 2.5 amps, 250 volts. The main capacitor is 400 volts, 120 microfarads, 105 degrees Celsius. This one output capacitor is 35 volts, 330 microfarads. The other output capacitor is 50 volts, 330 microfarads. The diode looks like this. The output fuses look like this. 2.5 amp, 250 volt for this one, and 2 amps, 250 volts for this one. The main power transistor on this heatsink looks like this. And the writing on the capacitors is a bit too small to see. So this is what is inside of an old printer power supply. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos.